Why move downstream and diversify revenues with value-added products? We see a move downstream as a mandatory evolution of our business. We see our role as to become not just an originator, not just a logistician, but a full integrated value chain participant, and that takes us downstream. The drivers of that also come from the consumer. Increasingly, consumers require food safety, food security, traceability, and above all, sustainability from their value chain. And that gives us a unique opportunity as a global merchant of agricultural commodities to make that value chain integration happen. And how are you doing that? So this isn't a new story for us, but it's a story that needs to accelerate. So we are seeking to identify areas where vertical integration still needs to happen and needs to accelerate. And they tend to be in the emerging economies or high growth economies such as Southeast Asia and China, but not just in those areas. There are areas in which we can take ourselves downstream in, in existing developed economies, in more traditional markets. It's different things in different markets. In the protein sector, it's very clear. From the producer, to the animal feed, to bottled branded oils, to the consumer. In the case of cotton, we become, by virtue of our geographic footprint, an integrated sourcer and supplier of choice to the fibre industry. We aren't, we're not going to start producing shirts. So tell me a bit more about though, the importance of these new value-added products to the company. So I think they represent different elements. They represent a natural progression from our historic core business to new areas. They represent a diversification of activity base, which is increasingly important in today's world. And they give us the opportunity to use our DNA and our heritage and our reputation and our sourcing, trading, logistics and management of commodity skills for the benefit of the consumer, to take sustainability and traceability to the forefront of what we do, to add value through the value chain, and increasingly to position ourselves as a producer and marketer of value-added product. Tell us about traceability and sustainability. People eat different things, they eat in different ways. We see as economies develop, people's diets, dietary habits shift. And we see increasingly consumers care about what they eat more than ever before. And they demand food security. They demand to know where their food comes from. They increasingly demand traceability. They want to know how it came to be where it is. And increasingly, and more importantly, they demand that sustainability is a focus, not just for the end user product, but also right the way through the value chain. And that's where we can step in and become a leader in that element of the value chain. So where do you see the opportunities? The opportunities are global, but it's fairly evident to us that the high growth economies of Southeast Asia and China are really the areas where not just food demand is growing, but also the food industries are changing. We see the need for vertical integration coming from the consumer, from the opportunity to participate in the industrialization and in the development of businesses in these economies with strong local partners. There are many very strong local partners in developing areas that are looking to partner with global merchants who can provide that value chain integration that they're looking for. This is a transformative change for LDC for the future.